weight and balance. 1. The useful load of an aircraft consists of the crew, usable fuel, passengers, and cargo. 2. The maximum weight as used in weight and balance control of a given aircraft can normally be found in the aircraft specification or type certificate data sheet. 3. The amount of fuel used for computing empty weight and corresponding CG is unusable fuel. 4. What type of measurement is used to designate the arm and weight and balance computation? Distance. 5. Which of the following can provide the empty weight of an aircraft if the aircraft's weight and balance records become lost, destroyed, or otherwise inaccurate? Reweighing the aircraft. 6. If it is necessary to weigh an aircraft with full fuel tanks, all fuel weight must be subtracted from the scale reading S. Except unusable fuel. 1. The useful load of an aircraft is the difference between the maximum takeoff weight and basic empty weight. 2. If the reference datum line is placed at the nose of an airplane rather than at the firewall or some other location aft of the nose, all measurement arms will be in positive numbers. 3. When, or under what condition, S are adverse loading checks conducted? Anytime a repair or alteration causes EWCG to fall within the EWCG range. 4. The maximum weight of an aircraft is the empty weight plus useful load. 5. Improper loading of a helicopter which results in exceeding either the 4 or FCG limits is hazardous due to the reduction or loss of effective cyclic pitch control. 6. Use of which of the following generally yields the highest degree of aircraft leveling accuracy? Spirit level, S. 7. The empty weight of an airplane is determined by subtracting the tear weight from the scale reading and adding the weight of each weighing point. 1. All other things being equal, if an item of useful load located after an aircraft CG is removed, the aircraft CG change will be forward in proportion to the weight of the item and its location in the aircraft. 2. Which would have an effect on aircraft CG results when conducting a weight and balance check? Leaving the down locks installed. 3. In a balance computation of an aircraft from which an item located after the datum was removed, use. Weight X plus arm moment. 4. What FAA approved document gives the leveling means to be used when weighing an aircraft? Type certificate data sheet. 5. An aircraft's LIMAC and TAMAC are defined in terms of distance from the datum. 1. The major source of weight change for most aircraft as they age is caused by repairs and alterations. 2. When making a rearward weight and balance check to determine that the CG will not exceed the rearward limit during extreme conditions, the items of useful load which should be computed at their minimum weights are those located forward of the rearward CG limit. 3. When accomplishing loading computations for a small aircraft, necessary information obtained from the weight and balance records would include current empty weight and empty weight CG. 4. When an aircraft is positioned for weighing on scales located under each landing gear wheel, which of the following may cause erroneous scale readings? Parking brakes set. 5. When dealing with weight and balance of an aircraft, the term maximum weight is interpreted to mean the maximum authorized weight of the aircraft and its contents. 6. When computing weight and balance, an airplane is considered to be in balance when the average moment arm of the loaded airplane falls within its CG range. 7. Zero fuel weight is the maximum permissible weight of a loaded aircraft, passengers, crew, and cargo without fuel. 
1. In the theory of weight and balance, what is the name of the distance from the fulcrum to an object? Lever arm. 2. What should be clearly indicated on the aircraft weighing form? Weighing points. 3. To obtain useful weight data for purposes of determining the CG, it is necessary that an aircraft be weighed in a level flight attitude. 4. In the process of weighing an airplane toward obtaining the CG, the arms from the weighing points always extend parallel to the center line of the airplane. 5. Which statement is true regarding helicopter weight and balance? Weight and balance procedures for airplanes generally also apply to helicopters. 6. If an aircraft CG is found to be at 24% of MAC, that 24% is an expression of the distance from the LAMAC. 7. If a 40-pound generator applies plus 1,400 inch-pounds to a reference axis, the generator is located plus 35 from the axis. 8. What determines whether the value of a moment is preceded by a plus, plus, or a minus sign in aircraft weight and balance? The result of a weight being added or removed and its location relative to the datum. 9. Most modern aircraft are designed so that if all seats are occupied, full baggage weight is carried, and all fuel tanks are full, what will be the weight condition of the aircraft? It will be in excess of maximum takeoff weight. 1. The CG range in single rotor helicopters is more restricted than for airplanes. 2. If the empty weight CG of an airplane lies within the empty weight CG limits, it is not necessary to calculate CG extremes. 3. When computing the maximum forward loaded CG of an aircraft, minimum weights, arms, and moments should be used for items of useful load that are located aft of the forward CG limit. 4. 1. Private aircraft are required by regulations to be weighed periodically. 2. Private aircraft are required to be weighed after making any alteration. Regarding the above statements, neither number 1 nor number 2 is true. 1. What tasks are completed prior to weighing an aircraft to determine its empty weight? Remove all items except those on the aircraft equipment list, drain fuel and fill hydraulic reservoir.